Dude, that thing is running. <laughs> this thing might spool me. Hola Pescaditos, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I recently had the opportunity to take a weekend with my wife and go visit some friends of ours who live in Iowa City. Iowa City actually sits right on the Iowa River and the dam that is in the city is the first dam that you hit when you come upriver from the Mississippi. So anything that lives in the Mississippi uh, lives in this portion of the river and there are a lot of species that are not native to the areas that I get to fish typically. Uh, there's smallmouth bass, walleye, there's paddlefish, uh, there's all different kinds of carp in there. There's just, just a bunch of different species. So we had an opportunity, we had some extra time. We went down to a local sporting goods store, Fin and Feather. I bought myself a budget rod, some 15 pound high vis braid, and some eight pound test mono, and a couple of Berkeley flicker shads at the recommendation of the clerk that I was talking to, just to take a little bit of time, head down to the river, and see if I could hook into some of these fish that I don't normally get to target down in Georgia. This is definitely a way down here. Is there like a landing area? Are you going to be able to make it down here, Gabby? That's a little, uh... It's, you'd be all right if you just take your time on these rocks. If you come over here to the right a little bit. Okay. There you go. Look, if you come, if we come all the way out here to the right, this rock's a little unstable, but other than that, you should be good. Okay. Got it. Oh, right. Well, you never know. Let's see. There's decent little shade over here, which is might be good. I don't know. I don't know anything about the fish that are in here, really. They might be schooling up over there. I'll try and bomb one out that way if I can. I'm right behind you. If I move down here, maybe I can kind of get more in line with it. The wind is just really kicking it up. Little fish. Look at that. Yeah. Try not to get hooked. Ouch, that's gonna do it there. Hold on, Junior. Oh, Calm down, things got some fight in them. Now here's the question though. Is this a uh, smallie or is that a Largey. I'm reasonably sure that's going to be a smallie. It's small, even if it's a large mouth, but how about that? That's pretty cool. Got us one in Iowa, another state. Oh no, I've hooked myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there's probably a lot of that, that size right around here. And if you're getting bit, it's, it's that guy and he's just maybe not getting hooked. You know what I mean? Because of the size. Oh, I got a much better one. Much better one. Come over here if you can, Gabby. Giving us a little bit of a drag. Man, first cast back in and we got hooked on another one. Where did you, He's coming up, digging a little bit. Got a little bit of a wake. What do we have? Oh, it's a walleye. <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to bring him over here where I can maybe uh, bring him over here to you. These, this is a toothy fish though, and I'm not, not familiar or confident with them. So yeah, got it. There we go. Can you hold that rod for just a second? All right. 
this might be two new species in um, a very in two casts he's all kind of tangled up in there and you can see he's got these hooks or he's got these teeth his lip is a little uh Hold on, let me see if I can... Nope, okay. there he goes. Quick release. <laughs> <laughs> he worked his way right out of my hands. Maybe we can grab another one. That's a slimy fish, too. Good Lord. Gabby, you come over here, too. I mean, this is obviously... Obviously a half-decent spot. I got bumped again. That's a better one. Dude, that thing is running. <laughs> this thing might spool me. This is gonna be a good fish if I, if I can land it. This is a good fish. <laughs> I might be, I might fight this one for a few minutes. Huh? Uh, no, you can come over here. I need to come over there in order to land it. This is a good fish. I'm gonna come over here anyways because I'll probably get you to take a picture with your with my phone or something. If I can land it. I mean I don't even know if I'm gonna land this thing. This is a big fish. This is just like No, it just came off. Oh man. I wanna hook into that again. Whatever that was, that was pretty cool. As you can see, there's fish all over the place out here in the river. I think what's jumping up are probably buffalo carp, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyways, for not really planning to come out here and just running the store and buying a couple of things, you know, a, a pretty budget-friendly combo, some line, and a couple of lures just off the recommendation of the sales staff over at uh, Fin and Feather. Uh, very helpful, obviously, because we came out here and very quickly got on a think what I think was a smallmouth don't really have them in my neck of the woods let me know in the comments if that was a smallmouth or not and then we caught us a, a little walleye hooked into something that I can only imagine is ginormous you know but uh, weren't able to land it. it ended up getting off the hooks were hooked on each other when I got it back in so don't know if that's related or what but uh, maybe I'll have enough time while I'm still here in Iowa to come out and fish maybe in the morning or another evening uh, but I think we found a decent spot to try it at and I think I know what lure I want to throw if I do so uh, Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to come back out here Well after hooking into whatever it was that I hooked into the other day and not being able to land it I didn't want to leave without having the opportunity to come back and try and catch something else catch one of these species That isn't as common where I'm from so I've been slipping away yesterday at uh, 6 in the morning same thing today and uh, walking a little over a mile to get down here to the river. Uh, I was at the same spot yesterday and I kept getting bit. The rod would about bend in half. It would pull drag for one or two seconds and then it would be off again. And I never landed anything. We're back out here today to try again uh, before I have to start getting packed up and everything to get back home. So hopefully we can just land one more fish. That's all I'm really after and I'd be content. So let's find out if we, uh, if we can do it. There's a dead fish near the bank. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Let's see what we can do. Okay, well, we just got us a little freshwater drum. I don't know if um, the GoPro recorded it because, uh, I don't know, just, I don't know if it recorded it or not. So we're gonna get him unhooked. All right. Little croaking freshwater drum, that's cool. I haven't caught one of those. 
not a super popular fish, but but we will take him. Gotta find a path down here. Maybe that's what this is. This looks like a path to me. Oh yeah, that's that's what you call a path right here. Oh yeah, I think this is where we want to be. Yep, I'd say that will do it. Well, all in all, I would say that was a fun little fishing excursion for a trip that really didn't have any fishing planned. Um, managed to catch a drum and a walleye today, which is cool because, you know, I'd gone back out yesterday and didn't catch anything. Uh, but uh, I went up to the, the dam, which is where I was told there's some really good walleye and everything at, um, right there in the chop under the dam. And at first I was a little frustrated because there were some younger kids who had pretty much laid claim to the entirety of that bank. And I didn't want to get up in their area, but at the same time, like, there's five of you and you're spread across 50 yards. Leave some room for some other anglers. But uh, anyways, one of them caught just a, a really, really solid hybrid. And uh, I asked him if I could take a quick little video of it. And he said, yeah. And uh, my opinion of him changed drastically really quick because... One of the first things he said to me was, he's like, it died. You know, we tried not to keep it out of the water long, but uh, he's like, and we tried to revive it and it, and it died. But uh, he's like, we'll eat it though. So that was kind of cool because it's nice to see people in general and especially younger kids who are concerned about the fish and kind of the conservation aspects of the sport. But leaving Iowa this afternoon and uh, checked three new species off the list smallmouth drum and walleye so can't complain about that this has been caleb with certified dinks we'll catch you on the next one mm -hmm.